Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Bealicious Budgeting. My name is Anna. I know I mentioned in my past few videos that I am feeling very overwhelmed and stressed. So today we're gonna do a self-care day. So it's actually my mom's birthday tomorrow. So me and her are both stressed out. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go get massages today. Have a little bit of a self-care day. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I even went to Starbucks and grabbed us both the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso drink with the vanilla cold foam. You definitely have to try it. I recently did a video on a recipe on how to make both at home. So definitely check it out, but we're taking it easy today. Plus I didn't want to do the dishes. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I focus on content such as beauty, lifestyle, and how to save money. So if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, as good as video, a thumbs up. Be sure to turn on notifications. Upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Let's just go ahead and do some self-care together. Good morning everyone, it is the next day, it's officially my mom's birthday. We're about to go out to breakfast, but first we're gonna take care of a couple of things. But first, I need coffee. It's not even nine o'clock yet and Ernie is washing my car on the inside and out before we head out, which I am very grateful for. I have been meaning to do that. It does need a good vacuuming. I already cleared out the garbage. Having a nice clean car puts you in the right state of mind. And while I have some extra time, I've been putting this task off for a couple of weeks. I wanna go through my closet. So right now these are my winter clothes. It's getting pretty hot out here in California. So what I'll do is literally try every single thing on and donate the items I don't really use. I don't find myself wearing too much. And also I need to figure out this shoe situation because this does not look good. I know it doesn't look horrible, but we're gonna find a better solution. I realize I have way too many graphic tees and flannels. However, I am keeping each and every one of them because I do wear them. I like wearing them like around the house, like on lounge days. And also I got this under the bed storage bin from Home Goods. I think it was about $30 or so, but it actually fits quite a bit and it comes with wheels. Anyone who knows me knows that I love my sweatpants. So honestly, I only have about like three pairs of jeans in here and the rest are sweatpants. So I know I'm not gonna get rid of any because I wear them like all the time, especially working from home. So let me just go ahead and organize this real fast. Organizing this makes me feel so much better. So on this side right here, I have my four pairs of jeans and the rest are sweatpants and leggings. And honestly, it's just the little things that count and just make me feel a whole lot better. And this is the aftermath of my closet. I know it doesn't look a whole lot different, but to me, it just puts me in a whole better headspace. So I brought in my spring and summer clothes, which I have less than winter clothes because they're mainly dresses. It's just easier and takes up less space. And what I did with my shoe rack is I stacked them on top of each other. So that way I just created more room here and I just swept. So honestly feeling a whole lot better already. And these are the clothes I decided to get rid of. So we went through a good amount today. Usually I'll see if family or friends want these or I'll try selling it or donate it. So always make sure my clothes go to good use. Now that I have some extra room in my closet, I can finally put this bin from Home Goods in there. I got this for $20. These are just for my extra like sandals and flip flops. So one thing I do is I reuse shoe boxes to put them in there. It just allows more room. So usually about three to four sandals or flip-flops can fit in there. So it's just something I like to do and it also just saves some space. And it is a perfect fit. Then I gathered all the trash and empty boxes and then those shoes are just not in well enough condition to donate. So it just feels so good to go through my clutter and just clean out my closet. Honestly, it's been something I've been trying to do in the back of my mind. I just never had the time to do it. So Allowing myself time to finally tackle it, it took less than two hours and I feel so much better already.
weekend was very much needed. I feel like I'm in a much better headspace right now because some of these tasks I have been putting off for weeks. I felt like my car was dirty, my closet was all over the place, and the house like wasn't the cleanest that it could be. So finally having a nice clean car on the inside and out, a nice organized closet with a better organizational system. I got rid of the clothes I no longer wear, got rid of a pair of shoes. I just like went around the house and gathered all the clutter, the trash bags and the empty boxes I had been meaning to throw away. It just felt so good. And I didn't go to the gym this weekend and I didn't follow my meal plan either. That's why you saw a lot of food clips, but I don't do that every week. And if I need to do that every once in a while, everything's okay. I feel like I made it this big old deal in my head if I missed a workout or if I ate bad for two days in a row, I'm just gonna go off rail my fitness plan. I don't do this every single week. I'm pretty committed to my fitness and meal plan routine. So the fact that I just took time to myself and realized, hey, it's okay. On Monday, went to the gym, followed my meal plan. We are good to go. So it was just like really nice to step back and just take that time for myself. Very much well needed. And most importantly, I got to spend the weekend with my mom. I felt like I wasn't spending as much time with her. We both had like busy schedules going on. So I think it was really nice for the both of us just to relax. We got our massages together, took advantage of the amenities they had to offer. And then we ran some errands. We like went shopping. I brought the dogs over. I even made her dinner on Saturday night. And then on her actual birthday, we went out to breakfast and dinner. So that was really nice as well. So I just wanted to give you all a little update. I feel like things are finally falling into place. I'm getting caught up with things even like a little ahead. So I think I'm gonna try and keep that pace up. And if I do need to take a step back, I know I don't have to go to the gym four times a week or whatever the case may be. Or if I don't have time to sit down and film, I can always do a vlog. It's not the end of the world. And if you take anything from today's video, please do something positive for your mental health. It's just as important as your physical health. I feel like in today's culture, we're all about the hustle and the grind. We're trying to show that we can balance everything and that everything's a priority. And it's just a lot of pressure to put on one person. So if you need to reach out for help, that's totally okay. If you feel like your plate is too full, it's okay to say no to extra things. Trying to find extra time in your day. So like for instance, me, I realized, you know what, TV can wait, it's gonna be there. So at the end of the night when I'm ready to go to bed, I know you're not supposed to, but I watch TV, that's kind of my rewards. So that way I give myself like some more time to work on other things or if you can't attend stuff, just you know your schedule, you know what works best for you. Everyone's schedules and priorities are gonna look different. So that's my piece of advice. Do something positive for your mental health today. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn on notifications. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday and I'll see you all in my upcoming videos. Bye everyone.